Hello everybody, welcome to Feast World Series episode 14. And we're playing the game that is based on the TV show that ran from 1999 present. And it's created by Steven Hillenburg. Do you know who? It's SpongeBob SquarePants, a day in the life of the sponge. The game is released internationally in 2005 in June 27. And the re-release is on 2009 which is in North America, which is good. So, we're going to have so much fun, and we're going to have an exciting everyday adventure with Spongebob, as he was as he was having the best day ever, as he was doing an abnormal day in Bikini Bottom. So, away we go Learning with Spongebob adventure. Square Pads. Learning adventure, and there's a pineapple at the beginning of the menu play. screen. And on to learning adventure, we're starting off with an easy okay. level. And off we go! Ah, another beautiful day in Bikini Bottom. So peaceful. SpongeBob is busy, uh, getting ready for his day. I think he's sleeping. We have to wake him up! Pop the dream bubble that does not match the word. Use the joystick and the enter button to play. So, we're starting off with Rise and Brian, which is in the bedroom of the first mission. So we need to pop the dream bubble that does not match the word. Let's use vocabulary. Vocabulary in bedroom. And look, there's a picture of a coral. Let's not pop that. So we need to pop the bubbles that does not match the word. Oh. Looks like the core is running fast. <laughs> Ooh! Look at that icon. It's a clock. When you pop the icon with the clock, it stops. The bubbles will stop. And SpongeBob can use them. Um... Oh, there's nothing you can do. The core is in the way. You can get a book. Pop the tree bubble with a book on it. There's a crab and there's pieces of seaweed. Let's try that again. Oh, whoops. If you hit the coral, it will pop out and it will go on to the next mission. But if you fail three times, you'll get a game over otherwise. Look, there's an oar. And there's a lamp. An oar is used to row the boat. Oh, no! Right. Woo, that was close. We got 18. You get 20 in the first Let's round, just to let one. you know. So, off we go. This is the word chest. We better not pop that bubble. Parrot. We got um, a bow, and there's a gift, also known as a present. And Trumpet. Look! We can pop the bubbles. Glasses. Turtle. A paper clip. And coral. And we got a pillow. We better watch out. Wow, excellent! We got 36. Right. Third and final activity coming up. We better pop the dream bubble that does not match the word hook. Hooks are used for grabbing fish, just like fishermen do. They grab on the hook from a fishing rod. Hooks can be very sharp, so don't go anywhere near them. Just to let you know, little guys. Right. There's a stoppage time. On the clock, we can pop the seaweed as well as the others. Seagull, also known as a bird. Trumpet. And a heart. Excellent. We completed the bedroom. So now it's time for spelling. And we're going into the bathroom to give SpongeBob a wash. Well, SpongeBob is enjoying it. And join in the bath. Having us soaked out. So we go to pop the letter bubbles that do but not do but not not belong in the word. 
So H does not belong in the word. Y, P, hmm. W, D, I, I think I know. The second letter is I from sink. So that's N, O, Q, the three letters that don't belong in the word, and so did B. Excellent. 145. Look at SpongeBob blowing bubbles and make a bow with a pattern. Hmm. E A what L Y. Right, let's take a look. Emily does not is not a very good it's not a word. Eagly. Well, that cannot be a word, but that's eagle. Eagly, no. Eagly that's a very silly word. Eagly is a very silly word. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we popped the letter O. J. P. I. C. Wow. We filled in the letter R. E A R L Y. Early. I think it means a bit eager. And when you're, uh, when it's uh, about three a.m. in the morning, it's early. Basically, that's an example. So. Grub, well, I think you could be in the word. We got it! S C R U B. Scrub! So now it's time to go to the closet. And we go to do rhyming words. And even though we're doing um, short letters, well, letter sounds that are simple, rhyming words that are small. So, and big, some of them. Right, let's take a look. We got, um, tie, try, let. Hey! I found the, some two rhyming words already. So we got flat. Sat. Flat, sat, rhymes. So, let's take a look what we got here. Look! We got fly and cry. The second rhyming words, rat and pat. These are the three, two, other two rhyming words. Hmm, we got more. Try, tie? I'm not sure if it's right, though. We did it! Try and try, tie is, is matched. So we completed Rise and Rhyme Easy Level. It's time to move on to the next game, which is. Jelly Roger! Jellyfishing to clear the pores before work. SpongeBob and Patrick are going jellyfishing. <laughs> Starting position is at SpongeBob's home. Number below the chart. Start from zero. Skip count by five. Ready? Ooh, skip count by go. zero. Here we go. So skip count by five. Hmm. So in an easy level, we're going to do skip counting. Example of this, we're counting up to fives like zero at the start. So the total you need to get is 20. The, tw the scores have changed to vary and is in fives, like five, like 15, 20, 25 for example. The scores have changed randomly, less than 30 I think. There's zero, five, ten, the next number. 15, which is 3 times 5 is 15. Zero. Oh, doing 0 again. 10. We're counting up to 10. So 40 is not it. You almost did it, Patrick. We're skip counting by 10s, 5, 3s, 2. So now we're at 10. 0. 10. I don't think so. I don't think that's right. I think we're at jellyfish fields now. But from earlier, while well, we were skipping count by fives. 30. Start from 10. Skip count by twos. So we're counting up by twos from 10. And here we go. Patrick got 10. You 
Never mind, Patrick, you did well. Twelve. I got twelve. Patrick got forty. That's after twelve, Patrick, just to let you know. Never mind, you did well. Fourteen. Thirty-six. We went past that. That's not skip counting by two. Twenty-eight is not right. I don't think Patrick can get it right. Sixteen. Sixteen. Start from forty. Skip count by three. Ooh, forty. We're counting up to three. Up by threes. So forty. Forty-three. Forty-six. Gotta say, skip counting is so much fun. Oh, oh wait, God. that's not right. Fifty-one is not it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fifty-one is after uh, fifty, but forty-nine, forty-eight. Got sixteen. Excellent job, we got 55. Oh, we're doing twos again and we're doing 10. Counting up from starting off with 10 and counting up in twos. Once again, which is a big surprise. We got 14. And SpongeBob wins the round in Jelly Roger. That's a great competition, you two. Excellent job. Never mind, Patrick, you'll win next time. So, it's time to spo for Spongebob to, to, get go to, to go to work at the Krusty Krab. I love Krusty Krab. They do all the lovely foods here, and Spongebob cooks as a fry cook. He comes a fry cook, basically. So, in the next part, we're doing Krabby Patty Cake. And we're doing simple vocabulary with fewer missing letters. So... Thanks for watching guys with Rise and Brian Jelly Roger. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, comment and like, and I'll see you later in the next part. Bye!